another video and today we have a special guest my auntie um you guys probably seen her in my last vlog from hawaii if y'all haven't make sure y'all go see that because she's crazy okay so today we are doing a truth or drink um most of these questions that i did are for her like i'm not really like you know gonna answer any of them Unless you think I should answer. I'm not going to answer. I'm going to let her answer. This is for her. So, I'm going to switch up the rules. Normally, truth or drink, if you don't want to answer, you just take a drink as many times. I, I have a total of 13 questions. So, out of those 13 questions, you are only able to take four shots. So you got to <laughs> choose wisely because you but can it's hard when you don't know what questions about to hit you. Exactly. So you just going to have to answer or you going to. Okay. I'll give you, I'll give you five because I don't even want you to be too drunk. Five shots. So these questions are crazy. I'm just letting you know now, but we're going to start off real easy and real simple. The first one is, I know the answer to this one. I think. Have you ever skipped school before? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even skip school on senior ditch day because I had to take a test for my um, AP class. And it was so I could have credits for college. So, no. I've never skipped school. I knew the answer to that one, y'all. Okay. I can answer that one. Have I ever skipped school? Uh, I have. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't, like, Skip school, like not went to school, and like, but I probably like skipped like on campus, like a mm. little bit, like you know, like you know, when you they know when that when you get those call, calls, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, your your kid yeah. was tardy. Oh, your, and I'm like, Digi, why you always tardy, cuz? Yeah, like sometimes I just like it depends. Like sometimes I just didn't like a class, and I just be like, you know, like. I can miss a day like I can miss a day you know and you then felt that, huh? yeah I did but I just know like the type of person she is I knew I was gonna get in trouble so I just like you know but that's another story okay now we're about to okay I'm gonna ask this one how how do you feel that I was as a teen like how was I as a teen in all honesty, uh, she was literally the perfect teen. Um, not that she didn't get in trouble or anything like that, but she was literally the coolest kid ever. She was easy. Um, I'm praying that when I have my own, that they're as easy as she was. Like, she knew she couldn't talk back to me because it was a no. Um, I pretty much let her do pretty much all the things that she wanted to do because she was trustworthy. Uh, she was honest and open with me. So, you know... We had a few bumps and bruises here and there, but not as many as most people would have. Um, I could probably count on like maybe three or four where I have to be like, cuz, do you want to fight or do you want to fight? So. And then I used to hate like when she would be mad at me because like she would really live in the same house as me and not talk to me. Zero. And I'll be mm -hmm. like, what is that? Why are you not speaking to me? And she'd be like, I'm disappointed in you. Like she never said nothing else. It's just I'm disappointed in you. That made me really sad that you did that. So I just used to be like, okay, I can't As do nothing. As it should. Yeah. And I used to be like, okay, I don't like her being sad at me. I don't like her not talking to me. Because she will literally, like, walk past me and not say nothing. And I'd just be like, she cold like that, y'all. She cold. <laughs> like, she do not care. She will give you the cold shoulder and not care at all. My cutoff game is strong. Strong. Okay. Now we're getting into the spicy stuff. Spicy. Spicy. I like spicy. Okay. Have you ever had a threesome or would you ever want to? I've never had a threesome. Um, I'm not at all interested in having a threesome. Um, I'm very selfish in the bedroom. So it's all about me and my man. No one else is coming in. I don't have a desire to sleep with another man. And I damn sure don't have a desire to sleep with another woman. To each his own. But for me and mine, it's all about me and him. Okay. So no to that one. Okay. The next one is how much money is in your bank account right now? Which one? <laughs> you gotta answer or you gotta take a shot? 
Oh, and we're drinking Douce. Don't mind that it's in a water bottle. I got this from my grandmother real good. And she stay with the Douce. Yeah, but that's what she's drinking. She's a dark liquor type of girl. So you either answer or you take a shot. Well, she didn't say which account. So I have, um, which account? Let's see. Oh, she gonna answer for y'all. Okay. Yeah, it's like, not like they could get my account information. Okay. One of my accounts only have $500 in. Okay. <laughs> she said she didn't say which account. So I'm gonna But just baby got anything. accounts, okay? Okay. Okay. Um, have you ever cheated in a relationship? <gasps> yes. Okay, so listen. <laughs> I it's, never knew this. It's not okay. Um to get people back. But you better be careful what you do to me back in the day. So, um, yes. You've cheated. My boyfriend cheated on me and he lied to me. And I found out when that fool went to jail. So guess what I did? What you do? Cheated back. And still to this day, he don't know. Oh shit. He not gonna know. Oh, he don't know. He ain't gonna see this. He, he not, we not saying no names. It's, it's okay. We only know. <laughs> we. So, like, when you say cheated, did you take it to the extent of, like, having sex? I sure did. Sure okay. did. Sure did. And I didn't even like the person. You just did it. Just to I get sure that. did. It wasn't even that great. <laughs> but. You are answering these questions. I felt great about it. And I went, I went back home to our bed and went to sleep. <laughs> sure did. Wow, this is crazy. Like, I'm learning stuff about her in this video because we don't talk about these. I don't want to talk about these things with her. But I just thought this video would be funny to do with her. So, okay, next question. Let's see if she's going to take a shot. What is your body count? How many Ooh, people have let's you see. had sex with? I don't a mind approximate, that. approximate. You don't Appro have to give an exact number. Okay, just let me count really quick in my head, though. Okay. okay. She hasn't touched this bottle not one time. I think I'm gonna have to start answering questions so I can take shots. When I do that is because damn they wasn't that good. <laughs> but you know, it happened. I think I'm about I'ma give it I guess I gotta count them. Nine. Nine. Okay. For her to be her age, so that's doable. You're a grown woman, you know. <laughs> My age. Not like you it's not like you like 25 with nine bodies or 20, 21, 22. You know, you're that's a fact. You're up in age, so you gotta experience you date. You need to watch like that. that. Sorry, I'm sorry. You are very young and very sexy and very, I am. you know, all of the above. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, that's not a bad number. I didn't know what it was gonna be. Um, okay. I'll answer this one, but I actually t recently just told you this. So this is a question is, uh, what is something I never told you? But I told you in Hawaii when I was younger, I got my nipples pierced. Remember I did tell you? Yeah, cause yeah. I never knew. What age were you? Um, honestly, I think I was like about to turn 16. And you know, the crazy thing is I had it up until, remember when I got surgery on this? Mm -hmm. I had to take them out. Remember they tried to take, make me take my nose ring out, but I couldn't. And I had to take those out. And so I went through with the surgery. And at that point, I already almost had it for like a year. I got that surgery in like June. I think I got it like the piercings July mm -hmm. prior, the year prior. So I almost had it for a year. So I'm like, okay, if I take them out for a little bit, they probably not going to close. They close right away, huh? Woke up. I was trying to go to the bathroom to put them back in, but they was like, since you're still under anesthesia, you know, you have to go to the bathroom with me. So I'm like, oh, like I can't even try to put them back in. And I waited all the way till we got back home and tried to put them back in and they was closed. And I never went back. That is so painful. Thank you, God. That is so painful. Would you get yours? I want to do it, but I'm scared. Let's do it again together. But do they have like um, numbing stuff for your breasts? Because don't, don't they take a long time to heal? They so, do. quick story. Um, everything that I get pierced, it has to be pierced with gold jewelry. It has to be real because my body don't my my body rejects fake stuff. Okay, <laughs> it don't do the fake. Okay, it gotta be one hundred percent. So everything that we do when we go get piercings, I have to go buy mm -hmm. the piercing and. 14 karat gold, blah, 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 to make sure it stays. So. But you know, they say like when you get a piercing, you're not supposed to change it 
or well like could they pierce it with yeah, the jewelry that you but buy? remember when i when we went and got our belly gloves because mine wouldn't heal because yeah. of the fake jewelry so mm -hmm. i have to go get i've had my belly button pierced like three times mm -hmm. but the last time i had to do it with i have my had to go get a gold ring mm -hmm. to get it done but it ended up falling out it? Oh, no, no it fell out i wanted that i want that don't hurt um, but I heard that the breasts do hurt. But I'm down to go with they you. They hurt. Like, it's just because it's like, it's like so thick. And like when you put, oh my And they got to do one by one. One by one. Oh, I need two people And the, the second one is always the hardest one. Yeah. So just be prepared. Ooh, sad but, face. I'm going to be like, just one. <laughs> just one. But mine was so cute. That I was like back. glow in the dark. That was purple. Oh, that's pretty. You know? And I just and had I it. And I never seen it. Never seen it. Like I used to wear a bra or like a pay hey, more attention to your kids. I think I was just good at hiding it, you and I and be. I was scared. I was really scared to been. let you see it, so I was just like, you should have you know. Been. But then when I got my first tattoo, I told you about that. Mm -hmm. And then she tried to act like I didn't tell her when I sent her the picture. I asked her like a week before, and then I actually went to go get it, and then I sent her a picture, and she was like, "What the hell? You went to go get a tattoo?" I was like, "I asked you already." Did I say yes? You did. Oh um, well, if I say yes, then nothing I can do. <laughs> okay. Um, have you ever snuck a boy in the house while your mom was home? I never had to. I never had to sneak anybody in the house. Um, I didn't grow up with rules and curfews and things like that i was a very trustworthy child i was very responsible um One so my mom ones. never <laughs> made me like oh you have to come in the house at this time i never had to sneak anybody and i'd be like mom my boyfriend want to come over i didn't have a boyfriend so i was what what age was i i was like in the 12th grade so it wasn't like oh my god so no so your um, first real relationship was when you was in high school yeah 12th grade. grade so let's go back because I did date a boy in the ninth grade, but we only talked on the phone. Like, we never saw each other. And that was like a conversation. And eventually that conversation ended. Mm -hmm. um, and then I tried to date another guy when I was in high school. I was think I was in the ninth or tenth grade. And he was like a twelfth grader. Um, I wasn't really interested. And he went too far because he bought me a ring. And I was like, my mama going to kill you. Okay, <laughs> so we're back. Okay, so you said he got you a ring and he was like, my mama going to kill you. So it was Yeah, he like, was too deep with it. Like, And he, he was a senior. He was a senior and he was just too deep with it. Like he just, not that the stuff that he did, he did wasn't so nice, but it was just too much. And I'm not a person that really like dating people in my same area. Like if I date you, you got to be at another school in another city. Um, I don't want to see you every day. In high school, that's how I was. I wasn't really a phone person, all that. So my real boyfriend that I was like, oh yes, this my man. I was in 12th grade. <laughs> I was. Okay, so you've never, never, had, never had to, to sneak, sneak him boy, in because no. my mama loved the heck out of him. Yes. She was like, come over, son, come over, son, come over, son, <laughs> come over, son. So he was there, you know. Okay, so you've never had to sneak anyone in. Never. Okay. All right, next question is, what is your craziest sexual experience? One of your craziest sexual experiences. One of them? I, I can give you two. Okay. Okay. She so, is crazy. So, so, so. <laughs> it's something exciting about <sighs> having sex outside, right? Oh, oh my goodness. So three occasions let's talk about three of them okay so first one like we was outside like the car was there but we were outside like uh door open <laughs> <laughs> i could not believe this is the person that raised no, no, me okay that's one another one at the beach all we had was one cover but we was at the beach and it was going down it was daytime no, it was, it was night time. Okay. Yeah, it was night. And the last one, it was in a car, right? I'm gonna tell you the whole story because it's juicy, right? <laughs> so we were on our way. <laughs> Maybe I should tell it. Just <laughs> skip through it a little bit. <laughs> so we were on our way to a strip club, right? So long story short, we never made it to the strip club, right? It was why I didn't make it to the strip because we never made it. Like we we made it to the place. We didn't go into the place. Okay, so y'all was outside the place. Yes. Okay. And it was like sometimes people be taking too too long. Like it was like, but it was fun. Like it didn't get boring or nothing. It was nice. 
So you was like, walking by. So you like, like doing it. stuff outside. <laughs> Best, you like that? That was gonna be one of my next questions. Like, have you ever did it outside? But clearly, yes. that's the answer. She likes to be spontaneous. <laughs> Clearly, okay. She gave us three experiences. Yeah. Okay, I'm really shocked that she's not taking shots, y'all. Like, that's crazy. That's really crazy to me. Okay, um, what age did you lose your virginity? I was 18. It was March 20. Was it March 20? I think it was oh, March was a fresh 20. Mm -hmm, girl, I had just turned 18, February 10th, and I. Went on and did the thing on March. It was like March 26, 2005. Yep. But then after that, I didn't do it for a long, long time because it wasn't, it was kind of like, I was new to it. So I was like, okay. So I didn't do it again until like my graduation day. I graduated. I oh, saw so a couple months later. Mm hmm. But it didn't go well because it didn't go well because the condom, like, got stuck so i was like i'm irritated um, i don't want to do it so we didn't get to do it that night but like the next day okay when i finally got the condom out <laughs> so it was stuck for a whole day i was pissed it was stuck overnight <laughs> because i was freaking out because when you're new to stuff like yeah, you, don't, you know, don't know like i'm like is this shit normal like i start <laughs> googling and i'm like what i gotta do and they're like oh you gotta relax and you gotta put your finger in there you gotta dig it i'm like wait a minute <laughs> Like, it was freaky. That's why you need to educate yourself before you start because stuff happened and you don't want to be freaking out. Like, I was paranoid. I'm like, what up? Did you tell I got my granny? Hell no! <laughs> what? She thought I was you at grand night. Nobody? Oh, my God. She, my mama thought I was at grand night, but I really got a room. All of us. Me yeah. and all the girls got a room. We was all at the same hotel. Everybody was getting in but me. My friends even came to my room and got more condoms. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like everybody getting it in but me i had a headache everything oh was that was stupid. crazy it was real stupid but it's okay i'm a pro now <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh this goes into the next question what age do you feel is the right age to start having intercourse would you say 18 well i feel like um having intercourse with people is it comes with its pros and cons. Eventually, it will start feeling great, but you gotta be mature enough to handle it because it can make you emotional. It can like make you love somebody that you really don't even like. Um, it makes you feel things that's not really there. That's why I tell people, give yourself time enough to get to know people, really pay attention to who they are, and, and see if you guys really vibe because once you have intercourse, it literally blinds everything else. It's like a soul tie. Yeah, and then you're tied to this person for whatever reason like you start taking on their demons and their spirits and they're they're it's not even that deep like not even that deep you might go through a season where you go through your whole stage where you just want to have fun and that's all cool and fun but you better be ready for different attachments and different spirits that's gonna jump up on you because that crap is real mm -hmm. so my suggestion would be make sure i don't think it's an age i think it's a mental state Make sure you're ready for whatever you're about to jump into. That's why a lot of people say it's really good to wait till marriage. Um, some people agree with it. Some people don't. I didn't do it. but um, And I don't have any regrets about my past and who I've been with. Um, but I do understand it a lot better now. That's why I'm very mindful of who I have intercourse with and who I get involved with. Because you want to pay attention to the person as a whole mentally emotionally there's so many people that look real real good and they're mentally unstable a lot of people trying to hurt themselves kill themselves and that stuff you have to carry yourself when you're connected to them like in relationships with people that you know are suicidal and you know depressed that stuff weighs on you and i say you can't be friends with those people but do you want to commit to that and that's just being real do you want to commit to someone that can't mentally handle life you know so and there's nothing wrong with that because I know a lot of people like that. I pray with those people. Um, I love on those people and I speak life into those people. But I don't want to marry those people. If that makes sense. That's understandable. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was a great answer. Okay. This one is a little... It's cool. It's regular. What is one of your most embarrassing moments that you've had? Embarrassing? Mm -hmm. Embarrassing? Yeah. Like a funny embarrassment or like a... Like anything that you could think of like you was like 
Damn, that was embarrassing. <laughs> like, it was funny, but it was embarrassing. Mm, I don't know. I'm trying to think if I have one. Um, I don't know if it was embarrassing or funny, but I had one time when I was in high school, so I was a tomboy, but I was such a curly girl, too, so I was like, I love sports. I played football all my life with my boy cousins because I grew up with all boys um, and my brother, of course. And uh, I didn't like people touching me. Still to this day, I don't like people touching me. Not like that. Like I like I love hugging people, but I don't like people touching my body. Like unless you're my man, you better not touch my butt because it's <laughs> it's a it's over Gee, for you. You're getting cussed out automatically. So there was a guy um, that he was a little bit too comfortable and clearly he forgot where I came from and who I belonged to. And so he was going around and I was a cheerleader um, and he was touching the girls, butt, and they didn't mind it, but I do don't touch me. <laughs> and so um, he thought it to be funny to hit my butt. And when he hit my butt, I slipped and fell. And mind you, all the cheerleaders and football pl players, we all like sit in the same area mm -hmm. in the benches in high school. And I fell. Um, Long story short, I got sent to the office. What'd you do to him? Long that was his problem. <laughs> Long story short, she got sent to the I office. I was raised with boys. We did we did boxing with kitchen gloves she's on. She's very boyish and very girl. It's weird because she's like both. Like I'm she said, balance. she played football. She played basketball. Then she cheered. Then she sure did. Like she just did everything. And it's like... Are you a tomboy or a girly girl? Which one? All of the above. Like, she would wear heels one day, and then the next day, she'll have on something completely... I'm like, girl. All right. Sure. Okay, so you were sent to the office. Okay. Nope. But but I got off. Because of the reason In my why. defense, and I had people riding for me, like, no, she. it was self-defense. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's what he get. <laughs> okay. So, Never had that issue again with anybody because nobody ever disrespected me. He just felt a little froggy that day. Okay. So, currently, are you practicing no sex before marriage? Celibacy? I'm trying. Okay. I am trying. So, um, that is the natural goal. The reason why I say I'm trying because at any moment, I could slip up and be like, oop, sorry. Um, but the goal is to practice celibacy. Um... The man that I am dating right now, um, I try not to uh, be with him at night at his house, <laughs> you know, um, because I try to keep myself out of temptations away. So the goal is, my mentality is, I'm trying. Um, is it set in stone? I want it to be, but the truth of the matter is, I know me, so I ain't even gonna lie to y'all and say, oh, it's not gonna happen. It's not. I'm not even gonna play y'all like that. When what I'm telling y'all is I'm trying. <clears throat> Approximately when is the last time you had a slip up? <laughs> Approximately. <laughs> Approximately. <laughs> like a couple months, maybe like a year. Um, you went without, you know. It hasn't been a year. So before him, it was a little it bit over a year. year. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So before him, it was over a little bit over a year. Um, But it's been like maybe about three months. Okay. So... But we going on vacation next month. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Pray for me, y'all. Uh, we going on vacation next month, and I'm gonna try. Okay. Okay. So this is the last question, okay. and this might be the, not the nastiest, but like something I really don't want to hear. But I'm just gonna ask. Okay, spit or swallow. <laughs> What does it depend on? Um. So I don't do it for everybody. Um, you gotta be special and you gotta be clean, cause you ain't touching me dirty. If you smell bad, it's a no. Um, I, and this is my honest answer. It depends on how horny I am during the time that I'm doing it. Cause some things can be like routine. It's like, okay, let's just do this thing and get it over. And then some things just be like, oh, this is exciting. This feels good. Let me go. Because in all honesty, giving head is a real, is a turn on for me. It's like foreplay. It's like, oh yes, 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 yes. 
And you know, the more board play, the more wear you get, the more relaxed your muscles get, the more into it you is. It's like it's a go. Mm -hmm. So it really just depends on the moment. Some moments I'm really into it and sometimes it's like, just no. hurry up. <laughs> so that's how it is. Um, if, it's, if I'm in it, in it, and I'm like, what are you doing? Right? <laughs> and it's good, good. We don't need no mess. Let's keep going. You know? Okay. And then sometimes it's like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more thing. Okay. Okay. When you <laughs> are having a, having sex with someone, is mm -hmm. it mandatory that they give you head? Or you don't really care? Oh, no, no, no. So, um, some people are not good at it. So, I'd rather you go without it mm -hmm. um, than to waste my time. Uh, I do, do like foreplay. But my foreplay, like I say, it starts from... While I'm at work, sending me a nice little text message. When I'm in the kitchen cooking, touch my booty. Do not walk past me without touching my booty because then I'm going to feel like something wrong. Like, what's going on? Because you didn't hit my butt. Like, it's a buildup for me. So, okay. I don't mind head. It's not a deal breaker for me because I like penetration way more than I like head. Because sometimes I don't get satisfied with it. Like, if I got to work extra, extra hard. Like, if I got to ride your face. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, just to, <laughs> like, you're not doing it right. Okay. So... For me, it's not a deal breaker. Like, so you um, can be with somebody if they don't get hit. If they say, yeah, like, but their penetration hit. game better be on point. Okay. Because yeah. a lot of people say like they get more pleasure from penetration, but they do also like hit. So some people be like, I can't be with somebody that says they don't get hit. In all honesty, I would rather have an orgasm from penetration than hit. That's just my opinion. My penetration orgasms are okay. <laughs> Okay, well, she didn't take now one shot, so we're gonna pour her a shot, actually. Let we were go. supposed to do a starter shot. I completely forgot. So we're gonna take one together. I'm gonna just take it out the bottle because I only brought one cup. Let's Cheers. Go. That was one crazy video. I feel like I got to learn a lot about her. You know, now that I'm like grown. <laughs> And we could talk about these things kind of kind of it's like you know like okay she a little fun she a little because i really like like growing up i really just thought you were just like perfect like she just I am so perfect. like she <laughs> is she is but i just thought like she didn't do anything i just thought like i knew you did stuff because you know we would have our little conversations mm -hmm. and you would tell me stuff but i just thought like you know, like you were just like a like I didn't I wouldn't have expected you to say you had sex outside. I would not have expected really? that. I don't know why you just give like so like the bedroom is sometimes yeah. boring. You gotta spice it up because have yeah. you ever did it on the table in the kitchen? No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. She's just like you know she like. I guess she like you just gotta know to know like you know it's not you like you just know to know. yeah like it's like she's <laughs> good at keeping those two separate like being classy and being nasty well yeah she's because those two good things with, happen at different times I mean times. they could they could happen <laughs> simultaneously you just don't know because you gotta have that eye they be like don't look at me like that <laughs> like what what am I doing oh my gosh well I hope you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> with this crazy lady here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.